Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia, let's talk books. And today I have a TBR video. TBR videos are very difficult for me because I'm a mood reader and I like to mood read. So uh, set, having a set TBR is um, a struggle. <laughs> uh, but, um, so I usually only do them for readathons. And in June, there's a really exciting readathon happening, Caribathon, which is being hosted by Karen at Run Bright Reads and Comfy Cozy Up. So I'll leave all their information down below. Uh, but just really quickly, the readathon is taking place from June 11th to June 20th. And uh, what they mean by the Caribbean is the 13th independent nation states. Um, so you can go to their channel so you can see the full list. But I, I really like this approach and I've actually been meaning to read a lot more. Uh, fiction and nonfiction uh, from the Caribbean. I went to the Caribbean for the first time a year ago. I went to the Dominican Republic and um, like I loved the Caribbean Sea and like everybody was so warm and anyways I, I've always been interested in learning more especially from the French Caribbean but uh, I am interested in, in like the whole region. So um, today what I will do is I will share a bunch of different books um, that um, kind of are options for me for this readathon. So the, I'm not going to be reading all of them, but I will, I do plan on, uh, on picking from this stack. Uh, so let's see, I'll start with the eBooks because one of the first things I did was go to my library and see what they had available. And um, from Jamaica, which the, uh, which uh, Karen um, kind of, I recommended we read something from uh, a Jamaican author. I saw that my library has several Marlon James's books um, and I really liked the sound of a brief history of seven killings. Um, it apparently has to do with the attempted murder of um, Bob Marley, I think it was. And I don't know, it just sounded really interesting. I have not read anything um, by Marlon James, so this is my chance. Uh, from Cuba, uh, my library has Dreaming in Cuban by Cristina Garcia. And again, I don't know too much about these books, uh, but that one sounded good. Um, from Haiti, uh, I found a couple of books my library has from Edwidge uh, Dan Danticat and um, Untwine and Claire of the Untwine and Claire of the Sea Light. So, uh, whichever one of those is easier for me to get uh, at the time, I might um, I might pick from. I also have several uh, physical books in uh, in my, on my shelf. Um, I have two Roxanne Gay books. Uh, she is of Haitian descent, um, and I've been meaning to get to these two books. They're like um, essay compilations, and I really love Gay's voice um, and the way she talks about complex topics, so about feminism and then rape culture. Uh, not that bad and bad feminist. So these two have been on my shelf and I've been meaning to get to them. So um, two options. I also have The Kingdom of This World by Alejo Carpentier. Uh, this is a story set in Haiti after independence under the rule of Henry Christophe. But the author is Cuban or he considers himself a Cuban writer and the translator is Cuban. Um, so this kind of fits a couple of different boxes of kind of Caribbean literature um, and it actually it sounds good and it's not too long so I'm really interested in this one. I also have Dominicana by Angie Cruz. Uh, Angie Cruz is of Dominican descent and this book looks really fantastic. It's an immigrant story and I, it sounds like part of it takes place in uh, the Dominican Republic but most of it is set in New York and um, follows a Dominican migrant. So um, I've heard really good things about this one so definitely on my list. I also have one work of nonfiction. I'll probably find a couple more um, in the next couple of weeks, but for sure one that I have that I want to get to is Contested Bodies, Pregnancy, Child, uh, Child Rearing and Slavery in Jamaica by Sasha Turner. So this is 
not fiction so like it's not like on voices or anything um but i did um, like a lot of my research is about the history of contraception and abortion in france but as i was doing my research on france where i came across a lot of information dealing with the french caribbean because uh there were different laws when it came to contraception and abortion uh clearly really racist laws because in the hexagon in france um it was illegal uh, contraception and abortion were both illegal but in the french colonies in the caribbean it was not and in fact the french colonial government would promote birth control and abortion so clearly trying to get white people to have more babies and trying to discourage black people from having them um and so i've um this is uh, the body of literature dealing with contraception and abortion in the caribbean is one that i've been meaning to get to for some time i've dabbled i've read some a few things um this one specifically on jamaica i have heard from some of my historian friends um is really good really well researched and so um i'm gonna get to it this summer so that is my TBR uh, for Caribathon. I'm, I'm really excited uh, to take part and to see what everybody else is reading. I have a feeling that my TBR is gonna get me even longer, which I am here for. Like, I love when I find new books to read, especially when they are things that I, like, wouldn't have just automatically come across like in booktube or you know at the bookstore and a lot of caribbean literature does it get promoted in the same way that other literature um, other writers get promoted and so i'm really gonna be like devouring everybody's tbr videos and pictures and all of that so um if anybody else is participating let me know down below and um uh, i'll go check out videos and pictures and all of that because uh, like i said i need to grow my tbr pile <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye